After the expiration of a five-year term of last Council of Oba and Chiefs, Governor Ambode on Monday ushered in another traditional rulers' council, urging them to ensure peace and security in their communities. Your Royal Majesties, members of the, members of the Lagos State Council of Obas and Chiefs converge on the banquet hall of the State House for the reconstitution of the new council. 82 of them from the five divisions of the state, including the permanent chairman of the council, who is also the Oba of Lagos, His Royal Majesty Ruan Akiolu I. <laughs> Governor Akiumi Ambode arrives to perform the inauguration of the council following the tenure expiration of the former in November 2017. The inauguration comes with new additions as members increase from 68 to 82. The composition of the new members is made up to reflect 20 local government areas in the state and 37 SEDs, thereby allotting 15 members each to four divisions of the state and 21 members to Lagos division due, due to its peculiarity. The council is being inaugurated at a time when every community craves for the presence of government in terms of development. Governor Ambade says his administration is aware of this and that it would require more support from the royal fathers. Our government has immense regard for all our royal fathers and traditional rulers. And we will always welcome advice from our royal fathers in order to maintain social harmony and ensure peaceful coexistence in our state. I therefore use this opportunity to call on our royal fathers and chiefs and the new leadership of the Council of Obas and Chiefs to continue to address antisocial behavior in all our communities. The most important ingredient for development in this state is peace and security. And you all have an important role to play in this regard. Governor Ambody highlights the role of the traditional institution in promoting tourism, a sector which has received so much attention from the state government in recent times. As custodians of the culture and tradition of our people, our royal fathers should also be at the forefront of the state's tourism campaign. A significant aspect of tourism is our culture and historical sites which fall under your jurisdiction. There must be, this must be showcased to the world, and our government is channeling a lot of resources to environmental regeneration and creation of tourist hubs across the state. This project requires your support and cooperation. In his vote of acceptance, the chairman of the council, the Oba of Lagos, His Royal Majesty Rilwan Akilu I, warns his members against using their position for selfish purposes. We should be a partner in the progress. We, the Royal Fathers, should come up with suggestions to assist the government, security, environmental sanitation, development, growth, and progress of Lagos State in particular and Nigeria in general. We should not always be like Oluwa Twist. We will always be asking for more. The days are gone where any Oba or any chief wants to become Oba or chief because you want to sell family land. The governor urges members of the reconstituted council to justify the confidence reposed on them by using their wealth of experience to support his administration in the task of deepening democracy and bringing development to every part of the state. The membership of the council is made up of one permanent chairman, one acting chairman, three vice chairmen and other 77 members. They are to serve for a period of five years, commencing from the 1st of May 2018 to 30th of April 2023.